Hey, what's up, YouTube? So three days ago, I released this video showcasing a small test project of mine. It was well received on Twitter, and so I tried to improve it, and I got this. So there's quite a lot of improvements. First of all, the transition between instant static meshes and Niagara particles is absolutely flawless. Even if the grass is just starting to grow again, it will cut the right amount of grass, which was quite a headache to figure out. The grass now leaves a trail of particles as it is consumed, which was also quite challenging. The grass is also fully grown when you start a game. You can specify a cut angle. And a cut radius as well. You can specify how much delay to apply to the cut based on how distant the grass is to the player when you cut it. Obviously you'd have to create an FX that matches the delay, but at least it's possible. The nice thing is that there's no opacity, it's all based on vertex collapsing. You can see the materials I use for the grass instances and grass particles are both opaque. Here's a wireframe view as a proof. Notice the particles showing bizarre wireframes, and that's because my grass mesh actually looks like this. This tiny bit of math is used to expand vertices in camera space, which is used obviously to thicken the grass itself, but also to control how thick the tip of the grass is, so that when cut, the grass doesn't look like it just scaled down, which it is basically. Now, for the grass burn effect, that was a bit tricky, and there's probably better ways to handle this, but here's what I've done. So it's quite easy in Niagara to use a particle's location to spawn other particles, the thing is, if I'd used opacity to consume the grass along its length, that location where all the particles would be emitted from wouldn't match where the burn is actually taking place. Because the burn line would go up and up, right? But you'd still emit particles at the initial particle location, and it wouldn't match. What I ended up doing, and it's bizarre, is the opposite. I pull the top vertices back to the particles position using a vertex animation. In Blender, I use three shrink wrap modifiers and three planes to basically collapse all vertices at the origin while I move the entire grass mesh down. And that animation can be baked into a texture. And so it's like the grass isn't burning up, but burns in place and the mesh is pulled and collapsed at the burn location, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, you can paint foliage instances and it just works. But it doesn't. Well, it does, but it doesn't, due to a bug in 4.27.2 at least. I actually found two bugs working on this. I sent a bug report for each to Epic, and hopefully that will be fixed. The thing is, it works in Pi, but not in standalone or package game. Because there's a bug with the foliage instance static mesh component and custom data, which are not updated correctly. That oh, and I use a virtual texture to sample the landscape height, so that my expanding cut FX always stays above ground. And that is also bugged in 4.27.2 at least, in standalone and packaged game. So that's unfortunate, but that should be fixed eventually, I hope. Anyway, that's it for me. Files are available on Gumroad. Link is in the description below. I also started a Patreon, where you can get this project as well as many more to come. Basically, most of what i shown on this YouTube channel will be on the Patreon. It just takes time to clean and document and make sure every project is actually usable. Link for the Patreon is in the description below as well. That's it for me. Next video is tomorrow, I think, with another example project. This one will be free, but it's nice, so stay tuned. Thanks for your time, consider leaving a like and subscribe. See ya!